Hi, everyone. My name is Cindy Reed, and I'm a nurse here in the Nashville area. And I want to welcome my co-host, Doria Stewart, who is a nurse in the Atlanta area. And Doria and I use this platform to share this amazing breakthrough technology with people across the world. So sit back and relax. And if you're not familiar with this technology, we're going to share some things and we're going to show a video and then we're going to have an amazing guest we have tonight on um, Ricardo Wilkins, Wilkins, and he's from Maryland. And Doria will get to interview him later in the programming. So Doria, I'm going to turn it over to you for just a minute and let you tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. So I'm Doria Stewart. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I've been a nurse for 43 years. And I'm so excited about this technology. This was presented to me probably about four and a half years ago. A very good friend of mine who is a dentist uh, just kind of reached out and said, hey, you know, this might be something you might want to look at as far as not only staying in the state of wellness and being resilient to the stressful environment that we live in, but something you might want to do after you retire. So uh, because I was open to other modalities of healing, like chiropractic care and massage, you know, massage and oils, I, you know, I thought, sure, I'll, you know, because I trusted my friend, I said, sure, I'll take a look at it. So for me, once I looked at it, I realized since it was non-toxic, it works at the cellular level. Um, I, it, that kind of piqued my interest because all the things I've ever given as a nurse at the bedside has always had some type of side effects. And even the things that I have in my um, medicine cabinet, all the over-the-counter medications are all have side effects as well. So, um, you know, I kind of just jumped in with two feet and, um, you know, ordered everything that the company had with our flagship product being the Redox and then and all our C of V line and uh, at that time, we didn't have the cell performance and wanted to try everything. And for me personally, I didn't, you know, start this because I had a health challenge. I did it because I wanted to stay in a state of wellness. And just a just a, sh a, sh a few short things it's done for me is I have better sleep. I have great endurance. I still work as a nurse. Um, I work in a GI clinic. And so I, I stay on my feet for about nine to 10 hours. And so I have great energy and I'm able to endure those long hours on my feet. And um, I don't deal with a lot of um, things that a lot of people deal with as far as their allergies. And um, I don't have any problems with uh, pressure in my head anymore. So it's just, I think what it's done for me is it's given me a better vitality of life at the age of 67, soon to be 68. And I'm able to do the things that I enjoy without having to be um, hindered in any way with those um, things that happen to us and kind of slow this down a little bit. So, um, so thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Doria. And like Doria, I was looking for something more holistic and natural. I had some autoimmune challenges and at the time was looking for something just like this. So when it crossed my path, I'm like, Doria, I jumped in with both feet because I wanted to see what this would do, but not only with what it had done for my health and improving those issues, I saw it as a business opportunity. And like most nurses, we have a side gig, you know, you can always, you can never use too much money, right? So, and especially in this world today, everybody needs the side gig. You can't depend on what you're doing now because it may go away one day. So, um, like I said, remain open if you're new to this. Watch our video and we're going to straight our disclaimer. So what you're going to see tonight is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. It just gives the body what it needs to work at its optimal level. And someone described this technology as making your cells younger. I ran across that this week and I like that. So think about it. If your cells are younger, so is your body. So I like that. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show a short video that just gives a simple explanation of this technology. We kind of rotate videos each week. We usually do Alan Noble's video, but we've used Dr. Mark Debrinkat's a few times and he has about three out there now, I think I've discovered, but I'm going to go back to one we've used before and I'm going to share my screen and we'll watch that. And then Doria will get to introduce our guest, Ricardo. Let's get this going. Hello. Today I'm here to talk about redox signaling molecules. 
So many of you maybe have never heard those words in a row before and actually know what that is. And so let me share. The inside of every one of our cells in our body, now remember we have over a hundred trillion cells, and the inside of every one of those cells is filled with fluid. Well that fluid is called redox signaling molecules. Now it's a very important fluid because it provides information to share with neighboring cells about what's going on in their world, in their environment. If there's something attacking that cell and interfering with the function of that cell, it needs to share that information with the cells adjacent. And so we have these things called hydrophilic channels that open up like an aperture of a camera. And as that opens up, it literally sends light energy from one cell to the next to share information about what's been going on in that cell or attacking that cell. And that allows the neighboring cells to adapt so that they don't get damaged by whatever that invader is. So think of being in a hotel room and you have several family members that are in the adjoining rooms that have an adjoining door on the inside. And if somebody was trying to break into my door on the outside, I'm going to open up these inside doors and tell everybody to be ready because there's something bad happening outside. That's much how the lining of our gut is designed and built. And we need these redox signaling molecules to be able to send that information about what's going on in that gut and how we can defend against all the bacteria that's maybe overcoming and trying to invade and damage part of that gut lining. So why is this subject even important? Well, it's really interesting that every decade of your life, you lose 10% of the fluid in those cells. So if you think of a young cell, a healthy young cell, it's much like a round ball that's tight. Now, every decade of life, you lose 10% of the air, it doesn't look so round anymore. It gets more flat or more like a disc. So for those of us that are over 50 years old, we're functioning on half the fluid in our cells that we used to have when we were thriving and healthy. So this is an amazing supplement that you can take that we can actually restore that redox signaling molecules in each and every one of your cells. Now the process to do that takes eight weeks of taking this product in order to fully get your cells full again. Now that's super important because our immunity depends on that, the function of our digestive system prevents, depends on that, the balancing of our hormones depend on that, but one of the most important things I like is the effect it has on the nervous system and allowing your nervous system to thrive and function. So many of you know I specialize in brain health and severe brain and spinal trauma. And so many of those patients that have had trauma to the brain, they've lost what we call the dominant frequency, which is the most important part of our brain. It's our true potential of what our brain can do. And this is one of the only products, supplement-wise, that we can take that will literally help grow a myelin sheath back around that brain and turn the cortex into very healthy, viable tissue once again. So this is something that they thought was impossible to do. Once your brain tissue has been damaged, you can't grow that back. So we do neurofeedback training to aggressively grow the tissue back and to reprogram the way the nervous system is functioning. But we also use those redox signaling molecules to make sure that the strength of the cells and that the communication between the cells works so much better. And we need to grow that protective layer around the brain. And this is one of the only products that I know can literally do that. So why is it important that we take this supplement? Don't our bodies make this for ourselves? Well, you know, they actually do. Many of you know about uh, something called glycolysis, where we take sugar and insulin, and in the mitochondria of our cell, it's like the powerhouse of the cell, those two things come together and gives us energy. It's called ATP, and this energy is vital to keep our bodies alive and to keep the charge going on our nerves, to make the nerves function and fire. Now we literally produce our body's weight every day in that ATP, so it's super important. We produce it and burn it up for fuel every single day. That's the extent of what they teach on glycolysis, but what they're not saying is that engine that makes that energy, that the sugar and the insulin turns into ATP, it has an exhaust pipe. And out of that exhaust pipe is what comes redox signaling molecules. For decades, we thought it was a waste product. 
And then we learn that this is vital to the function of each and every one of our cells to be able to make that communication network happen so we can communicate from cell to cell to cell and know how to defend ourselves and how to keep ourselves healthy and alive. So for those of you that are new to this product, don't worry, it takes about eight weeks before you're gonna get the full effect of it. And then if you ever stop taking it, it takes eight weeks for you to return to the state that you're at now. So this is definitely one of those products that years ago made it into my inner circle of things that I do for myself and that my family does for themselves and for each and every patient that we're trying to restore proper nervous system and proper brain function. This is a critical nutrient that we want to make sure that you're taking in order to help us get the best results possible. So I hope that helps and until next time, have a great day. But maybe you've never heard those words. Sorry. Okay, let me get a few more in that we're waiting. Sorry, and I'm going to give Doria a co-host here. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> let me find you, Doria. Where'd you go? Yeah. All right, now we can roll. Okay, that was Dr. Debrinkat's um, video. And like I said, he has a new one that I just discovered, and we may show that one another time later. So now comes the fun part of our night. So Doria, I'm going to turn it over to you. And what we're going to do, open up the chat for, um, for questions. So if you have a question for Ricardo, if you'll just put it in the chat, and then afterwards, if he has time, he can answer those questions. So Doria, I'll let you introduce our guest tonight. Absolutely. Well, it's an honor to... Um... I think I met Ricardo a couple of times face to face in some other meetings that we've had uh, with uh, ASEA. So it's it's an honor to have you on our um, Redox Nurse Talk tonight. And you're in my you're in my, my favorite place in the I should say, I shouldn't say in the whole wide world, but the Eastern Shore at Ocean City. And I'm kind of a little jealous because you're probably able to eat some hard shell crabs there, and I haven't had any of those in 20 years. So <laughs> anyway. So Ricardo Wilkins is from Maryland, just outside of the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. He has a nine-month-old son who he, who he raises with his partner, Ruthie. For 17 years, he worked at the U.S. Environment Protection Agency. And in 2021, he left his full-time job to live as a nomad, traveling across the United States and abroad. He enjoys hiking, movies, and learning. He published his first book, which I'm going to let him share more about that mm -hmm. in our interview, um, and, um, and, we, and, he, and hopefully he'll give us a link for that so that we can, um, you know, all get that. So I'm going to start off, uh, Ricardo, tell us where your SIA journey started. Well, first, thank you for having me, Doria and Cindy. It's an honor to share my uh, ASEA and Redox experience with your guest, and so my ASEA experience started in 2018 when I was at that uh, job at the EPA and I was watching a video um, with two health professionals, health functional health professionals talk about all things health was not about a CEO or redox and but they had a brief segue and one of the doctors said ASEA was the only uh, company in the world that had stabilized redox signaling molecules. I had no clue what that meant. Then he went on to say that it did some significant things uh, as far as aging or uh, shifting aging on the, uh, the level of the mitochondria. Within a week, that sounded mind blowing. My ears raised up and uh, they said a few more things that, you know, I just didn't really comprehend. But there was something something in my gut said I should look into that. Uh, it sounded special. And that's what I did. And I started within about a week, I started using the product. And at the time, I did not have any health issues. I was pretty healthy. I worked out regularly. And like you, Dory, it was just really to, um, I, had a, I had a prevention mindset. So it was about protecting my health for the future, you know, 10 years in the future, 20 years in the future, so I can keep my mind sharp and my brain, um, you know, active and, you know, remain hiking and continue my physical activity. All right. So, um, what are you? So, how long have you been on ASEA now? How many years have you been with ASEA? We're coming up on, wow, six years. Six years. 
Okay. So during that time of six years, because you're like me, you did, you took this because you more wanted for, you know, the state of wellness. So what have you seen, what have you experienced physically with the uh, redox? Yeah. So at the time I, I was pretty healthy, um, but I was having sleep issues for about nine months. I just had sleep issues that came out of nowhere. I don't know if anybody's had sleep issues, but it's very disruptive to your day. And I tried a lot of different things and nothing was helping. And it was causing a lot of uh, just frustration, again, dis disruption in my day. And so I started on the product. And within a few days, um, my regular sleep pattern returned. And I was getting deep sleep. And I don't even really think I realized it at the time. Again, because I learned about this on my own. I didn't have anybody, you know, guiding me or instructing me. So that was the first thing. And then... Um, I noticed like, you know, maybe a little bit of energy, you know, lift the brain fog, nothing mind blowing, but maybe I would say nine months into using the product, you know, I was getting older and uh, I worked out a lot, but my workout recovery was becoming more problematic. I would be very fatigued after working out. My muscles would ache into the next day. Uh, so I had to cut back on how often I worked out and how long my workouts were just to allow my body more time to rest. And but this was, again, this was um, just, just, just problematic because working out was a, a, pe a part of my lifestyle. And I knew a lot of Olympic athletes and endurance athletes use uh, Redox for performance, but also recovery. So I added it to my before and after uh, workout regimen. And that for me, that is the life-changing shift because uh, I just feel amazing after I work out. It's been about five years since I started that routine. And I, I feel I'm 40, I'll be 49 this summer. I feel like I'm 30 after I work out. I feel absolutely amazing. Uh, it, so I, I joke sometimes it feels like I didn't even work out, which is, which is, it's a good thing, but it's like, like did I work out hard enough today? You know, you want to kind of like want to feel it a little bit. Uh, so, so for me, that's like the really big, uh, shift that's changed my life okay so you've been with asia for six years so how long were you a product user of asia i mean I, I know you're currently a product user so what what shifted because now you're sharing about this you've written a book so tell us a little bit about the book but then also tell us what shifted you to want to share this with others yeah so when i learned about when i I started taking the product pretty soon after hearing these two health professionals uh, mention it. And it's just something about, it, it just captivated me. It just captivated me. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't particularly good at science uh, or enjoyed science in, in high school or college, but it was just something about this, this, that it was so unique that just captivated me and seemed um, just, just groundbreaking. So I was just, just curious. I just delved in to learn as much as I could on my own. And through that process over a few months, I just, in realizing that there was an income option attached to it, uh, I was really unfulfilled in that government job. So, and I used to talk to, the only person I can talk to about was my partner. I, I mentioned it to a few people like, hey, you should look at this product. But I used to talk to my partner, Ruthie, about it all the time. And I literally remember sitting on the bed one day and I looked at her and I was just like, everybody on the planet needs to know about this product. And she just kind of looked at me like, like, okay, just like another thing you're talking about again. But that's how I was just passionate about it. And it was actually her, because again, I was unfulfilled in this government job. And I was just looking for something with more that just felt purposeful. And she said, won't you do that stuff? Like, won't you, you know, you can make money, you get extra money, you know, talking about that stuff. You, you're really passionate about it. So I was kind of like, huh. So I decided to do that. Again, on my own, I still hadn't had any contact with anyone in the company. So that's when I decided to to start sharing it because it was something I believed in and also how unique it was that it was nothing, no other product like it in the marketplace that um, that was from an entrepreneurial standpoint. That was um, that was intriguing um, to be attached to a technology that you own, you own that 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 area of the marketplace. So did something happen in 2019? I think I remember hearing a um, another interview that you have done, and it might have been going to maybe uh, to the convention, maybe hearing a little bit about the culture of ASEA. Can you talk about that? 
Sure. Yeah, absolutely. That was probably, uh, yeah, so 2019, I was at my first ASEA convention. At this point, I had, um, you know, connected with some people in the ASEA community, other associates. So I went to the convention and it was the first time I was really exposed to the corporate, um, the corporate executives and the CEO and the founder. And it was specifically the founder, uh, Tyler Norton, who he his I just never heard anyone in his position speak to um just the, the traits and the characteristics and the way of being, not just as an ASEA, you know, associate, but as a person about thinking about other people. Um, if the if in regards to ASEA or just in life, he talked about having a corporate soul and um putting putting people and purpose over ego and economics. And again, my my partner, I, I I coerced my partner to come with me uh, to the convention, and I was we were sitting next to each other while he's talking, and we're like, "You think he's for real?" Like it was so just like the product is sometimes like, "Is this for real?" It, that's how we felt about him because he was so just poignant on stage, and uh, it was that was when I was realized like, okay, I found my home. I found a place that I can, um, you know, uh, place my flag and, and felt per it felt really felt purposeful then. Good. So the book that you wrote, I don't have the full name of your book. Tell it, tell everyone what the name of your book is and, sure. where, and so, how they can get it. Absolutely. So my book is called um, life's biohack, the health secrets of redox signaling revealed. And I released this, I published it, uh, last year, January of 2023, it's on Amazon. So if you put in my name, uh, Redox Signaling, Life's Biohack, you'll find it on Amazon. If you go to ricardosbook.com, you'll uh, take you directly to that link. And I published this, um, again, I, I was just, I just captivated by this for the last six years, about this thing called Redox Signaling and what it, what, what universities and, and research around the globe says about it and and what we had, what ASEA has and been, been able to capture. So I just kind of just, for my own curiosity, engrossed myself over the last six years just to learn as much as I could. And uh, I shared this in the book. One day I was watching a, a documentary called um, Stink that talked about all the just toxins in our household products and how the increased use or increased um, usage of chemicals and toxins in these products has correlated to a rise in diseases um, in the U.S. and abroad. And I was just kind of, you know, I, I believe ASEA can help people with challenges, but it's also a powerful protection product. And it, I was just like, people need to understand what redox signaling is. So there's a lot of amazing books out there that I've read, but I just felt compelled to write something short and simple um, that wasn't so medical, but also explain the how foundational redox was just for lay people. That was kind of fun that they could that they could relate to. Okay, so could you give us a little excerpt on how you would share this with a lay person that maybe you meet on the street? Oh, how how I would explain it, Sia? Mm -hmm. Or redox, okay. yeah. Sure. So I kind of, I like, you know, I always start off with, so we all know, you know, herbs and, and, vit and vitamins and minerals, these amazing materials for the body that God and mother nature put all around us to nourish us, right? But if we think about it, there's other mechanisms um, within us that that start before um, that, that aid our healing, that aid our well-being before those things are introduced. So a, a example with people in the sea have probably heard before, it's like a cut. You know, when we get a cut, you just don't think about how does our cut, how does our body know how to repair those tissue, the, the cells to um, regenerate, to close? How does it kill the pathogens, that uh, the foreign invaders that, that, that enter um, that open wound, right? It needs, it needs to communicate. It needs, something needs to tell the cells to repair. And that is redox signaling molecules. You know, if we have surgery and we're recovering from our surgery, you know, we're at home and we're sitting on a couch watching television, we know our body is repairing, but we don't think about how does it know how to repair. And it does that with redox signaling 
molecules and they affect every tissue, organ, cell in the body. Um, any, so if you think of a body part, you think of a system, redox signaling uh, molecules are foundational to that operating and it works synergistically with the materials, again, the vitamins, the minerals, and the herbs that we consume um, to support our body. And ASEA has figured out a way to take this communication network with that with that's within us outside of the, they figured out a way to regenerate it outside of the body. So now that we can um, consume or apply these redox signaling molecules that are made within our mitochondria. Phenomenal. That's an excellent explanation. I loved it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So we know that uh, the CEA Redox is our flagship. We talked about the Renew 28. That's redoxing lean molecules in the gel. We, we have other products on our line, which is, we have the ASEA V line and the cell performance. Which of those do you like the best? Right now, I'm loving energy. Uh, I have like I have a nine month old like we shared and uh you know, I'm at home with him most of most of the day, every day. So the days are long. Um, so Redox Energy has been my friend. It was my friend today. Um, yeah, so that's that's my friend right now. I love Renew 28 as well. Um, use it every day on my face. And also, I don't share this enough, um, my experience with Renew 28. So I've had um, like a um, knee issue since I was a teenager. It's like a, it's, um, a tracking issue in my knees that has gotten progressively worse since I got older. And so a lot of, you know, walking, standing, hiking exacerbates um, this, this, this skeletal um, issue. But I never really had anything that could help aid that discomfort um, that when it kicks in. And when it does, Renew28, you know, Renew28 does a lot of things. And one of the things it can do sometimes is help with discomfort. So it's been a, a a lifesaver as far as helping just reduce and mitigate some of the discomfort in my knees, something I've been dealing with since, again, I was 15 years old. Yeah, that's one of the things like, you know, working on my feet for such a long time. And I know Cindy works as a you know, nurse and she's on her feet a lot going to patient to patient out in the field. And it's such a blessing to have that in your in your pocket, so to speak, to use it, you know, at any time. So it, let me ask you with a what's your what's your what's your son what's your son's name? Santana. I mean, Santana. Okay. So um, is it safe enough? Are you using a, the Renew Twenty Eight uh, or giving him um, any of the Redox? Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things that we can say about ASEA is one of the, the breakthroughs. Honestly, is one of the things that makes it a breakthrough is how safe it is, how it's completely non-toxic. It, it, it's the most, if it's not the safest thing you can consume, there's nothing, it's one of the, nothing can be safer, it's completely safe. And knowing that, I feel completely safe giving it to my son. Um, I apply Renew 28 um, every now and then, I'll just give him, you know, a couple of milliliters uh, of Redox just so he can, you know, just get accustomed to the taste. Awesome. Well, I think you've answered all my questions. Let me let's kind of scan them. I'll let Cindy ask a few. And if I've missed one, I'll I'll ask you. Okay, Ricardo. Um, just have a couple of questions. So when you worked for the EPA, what was your job? Uh at there I would worked in like records and database. So just making sure um like records and um within a, a network was was um or their database was how it's supposed to be <laughs> okay quick question so what was your background in college what what was your major it wasn't science was it no was it, it was um yeah so at the epa i didn't do anything science related okay. um i mean i read some science stuff just right. as a part of the job but it wasn't i wasn't i didn't have anything to do with that side of the epa uh my major in college was criminology and criminal justice that's impressive I just think it's ironic you worked for the EPA and like you were talking about the video that talks about all the toxins and the things in our environment and our chemicals and the products that we use. And as a hospice nurse, I can assure you the things that are on the rise right now are cancer and heart disease. We see that and we're seeing cancer in younger and younger people. 
um, yeah. as young as in the 30s, 20s sometimes. And that's wow. very frightening yeah. because it used yeah, to be an older is. person disease and it's not anymore. Yeah, it is. And I actually, I, I share this in my book. At the EPA, another thing that was um, inspired me to write it was my time at the EPA. I did, uh, as a function of the job, I read a lot of uh, comments from uh, the public. So just really quick for context, um, say a, a, a chemical or a toxin to, needs to be registered to be used. Um, the public has the opportunity to um, either say disagree or agree with that. Or, or comment on it. So a lot of times when, you know, say a pesticide um, is is up for registration, people will comment on it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the comments would be about how a specific chemical or toxin affected someone's life, um, either their health, sometimes even financially. So that was another thing. So reading that over, you know, I was there for 17 years. So reading those kind of comments over time, how people were affected, the corruption, um, as far as a lot of the companies that make these products, um, the government at times uh, also inspired me because I was thinking like, what's the one thing that we can control? Like, what can we do um, this, with all this corruption and these companies allowed to put these, these, these toxins that are harming us, that, are, are, that has been pretty much proven are harming us? What can we do? Well, one thing we can control is our lifestyle. And nutrition, you know, is, is wonderful. We all know about that. We need to know, we also need to know about this other side. Again, like we like to call the missing link to health. And we can add another element to further um, take our health to the next level. Like saying, like that's like, which is in your flyer. Absolutely. And as we know, and as you know, I'm sure with all the reading that you do, so when you're talking about, and again, this does not diagnose, treat, or cure anything, but we're just going back to some basic science here. So when you talk about, say, a cancer cell, basically it's a cell that has gone rogue or been miswired, had just a malfunction, so to speak. But you think about when you have one cell that malfunctions, what happens? It replicates and it replicates and those replicate and it just continues to grow. So if you could have something that could technically go into the DNA and turn off or on the switches that need to be adjusted to stop it for number one, replicating and maybe even to repair it. I mean, wouldn't that be a breakthrough technology? 100%. Um, it, uh, I'm trying to like, what can I say? I want to be compliant here. I know. It's um, hard. <laughs> um, but just, you know, just think again, the, the, the native role of redox signaling molecules is, is uh, to, they're integral to the, uh, to the immune system. There's, they're, they're, they're essentially a part of the immune system and some, you can think about it that way. And uh, they're like the radar, right? So mm -hmm. one of the reasons, again, like abnormal cells start to replicate because they're not that that now abnormal cell isn't detected, right? And you know we're all having you know mutated cells, abnormal cells, but they're detected and and killed or switched off before they have a chance to replicate. Redox signaling molecules are part of that synergistic system that allows our body to seek out um, and find those abnormal um, um, mutated cells before they start replicating. So to your point, Cindy. If we can consume something that enhances that ability, that directly enhances that ability, um, the, or the actual elements that do that work directly, um, I mean, that alone is a breakthrough. I, I, I I'll often say, if no, if if all Redox did was support our immune system, but if that's all it did, it would be a game changer. You know, if we never felt anything, we just, you know, we take vitamin C, we take vitamin D because we know those things are just good for our immune system, right? We get sick, oh, like, you know, we take extra vitamin C. We don't, we're not looking to feel anything. Um, but if we knew how foundational these molecules, people understood that just, just the immune system alone, it would be, it's, everybody would be on this product. Ricardo, you hit some things right on the head. So go back to what we're talking about. But 
just knowing the fact that these redox molecules that we're talking about, like Dr. Debrinkat said, these are in our body. They're native to our body. So we're not putting anything foreign into our body. We're just increasing what we're losing over time as we age. And, and I compared a lot of times to someone who's anemic, you go get a blood transfusion. You're just putting mm -hmm. it back into your body to get the levels back up to where you need it. Um, yeah. And the toxicity, I mean, just in our environment, and we've talked about this before on here, I believe our country allows probably over 200 chemicals that are toxic into our products, into our foods that Europe does not allow and even Canada. Mm -hmm. So why are we doing this? This is, I won't go down that rabbit hole, but that <laughs> I have a, um, a bond to pick with that. And it just really bothers me. Um, but you did, you did, you hit all the points and you just, yeah, it's, it's in our bodies already. We're just putting them back. It's that simple and it's great science. I don't have any more questions. That. Does anyone I have just any have questions? one last question here. And it really, you know, I love the, the, the company because it redox, you know, um, powers potential in lots of different ways. And then our company also powers our potential. So how have you, um, Ricardo, since you now are sharing this, how have you grown over these last six years? Because, you know, our motto is that, you know, we, we be it's believe, belong and become you know, and definitely you believe in the, in the product 100%, like we all do. And then it's a sense of, you know, belong, you already shared about your going to the convention and, you know, just hearing the heart of, of Tyler, but how have you become over the last six years? Oh, wow. Um, I can go down a rabbit hole of this one. <laughs> so I'll go back to that time at the EPA. Um, I, I, it was a time in my life where I was I was really ready to leave that job because again I wasn't fulfilled it wasn't purposeful and through my whole life um I really played it I really played small and I, I always stayed in my comfort zone I didn't challenge myself I didn't push myself but I didn't realize what I was doing and maybe a few years before I see I realized like this this I, I thought I was keeping myself safe uh throughout my whole life and I was kind of like this wake up call and I just kind of like started progressively just doing more, challenge myself more. And I was really ready to leave that that position because it was, I felt like it was holding me back. I know I had more to give. And that's when I found ASEA and some other things I, I started doing as far as traveling. And um, that has really, I, I mean, over the last six years has been, I mean, I'm not, I'm a, a completely different person um, because I found something that was so special that captivated me. It, it was it allowed me to grab onto it like I, and, and and like pull me along I, I wanted something to feel I wanted something to do that felt important that bigger than myself to help me grow and this was special and I knew people need to know about it and so you know for example I I, I was terrified of speaking in public like terrified like I would I can give you examples of me getting out of um scenarios or circumstances where I had to speak and and it was just it was crazy but I thought I was keeping myself safe but you know I started doing in homes and started doing presentations and I spoke in at see a conference could yeah, be a conference um in 2020 uh 2021 so uh it, it's been you know completely life-changing just being with this community sharing this product with this company we power potential um writing writing a book a lot of you know a lot of um, components to me writing my book was about doing something that just felt big. You know, I've had, I had, you know, a lot of those limiting beliefs, who am I to write this book and all that was going on. But I realized over the years not to listen to that voice. So for me, this has just been all about development and becoming and continue continually to do that. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. There is one uh, question they're asking. What videos do you like to use to pique interest, Ricardo? Oh, that's a good question. Um, huh. What videos? Uh, right now, I'll probably send people to Real Redox Results. Um, Real Redox, Real Redox Results .com. And there's a, used to be, a, I think now it's a 10-minute video with Alan Noble. So I'll send people to that. And I'll also send people the, uh, there's a quick draw video. There's an old quick draw mm -hmm. video 
that explains redox signaling molecules. I love that video. So I send the people that video as well. We've used that one ourselves on here. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of things out there. Uh, let's see, are there any more questions in the chat? I don't see anything else. But Ricardo, like you said, when you get to in the company and you get in to meet the people in the heart, we realize there's more to life. There's more purpose for us out there than just going to that daily grind corporate job, eight to five or eight to whenever, as in some some of us. So yeah, that's what I love about it. Any other questions for Ricardo? I, 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 I can also share um, a little bit about the business side of it as well. Okay. Um, when I first learned about, see, I knew it was a network marketing company. I didn't have, I did not have any misgivings about network marketing, but I knew other people did. So that was something I had to get over. Um, as far as like talking about, I was talking about the business, but over the years, uh, I've educated myself, um, and almost to the same level, well, not the same level, but I really invested a lot of time in studying and learning about network marketing, um, the nuts and bolts of it and experiences that people have. And I'm, I'm just as passionate about uh, this business, this business model, this distribution model, um, as as uh, read off, so it's amazing. I got uh, fired from my 17 year job in the middle of traveling around the U.S., and mm -hmm. so to be able to have um, income, passive residual income, steadily coming in each week uh, has been, I mean, amazing. You know, I was in other countries doing Zooms and I was still getting paychecks. And that's a piece of it um, that this business model, sharing something you believe in and, you know, people that you share it with, some some of them won't be interested. Some of them will. They might want to share it too. And those people might want to share it and so on and so forth. And, you know, you can change people's lives. You can change your life um, through your health, your well-being, but also your income. And it's a great, again, place, place to nurture development. And it's pretty cool to get paid when you really probably didn't do work maybe that week, potentially. And with this yeah. <laughs> technology and the business, Ricardo, we've all talked about if people really understood what we had, this Zoom would be overflowing. We would be maxed to whatever my capacity is. And it just, yeah, I just want people. That's our passion. It's just to want people to really check into it for themselves, for their families. Give it a good shot and see. I mean, what do you have to lose? Except your health challenges, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Any other questions? I did put the title of your book in there. Um, Moretta was asking that. Any other questions? You've been awesome tonight. We appreciate this so much, Ricardo. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a pleasure to share. Joy, do you want me to close out? You want to close out? Yeah, I'll let Wait. you close it out. Take, take, okay. it, take us home. OK, um, if you're new to this technology and any of this resonates with you and you want more information, reach out to the person that sent you or invited you to the Zoom tonight. Also, if you're looking to work on your health challenges, again, give this a try as a preferred customer. You get the better deal. Plus, you earn loyalty reward points that you can use to get free product. But if you're really business minded like Ricardo and Dory and I and you're looking for that extra income or maybe income to replace what you're doing now in that nine to five grind job that you're doing, really check into this. You will be amazed at, at what people are doing across the world and how they're changing their lives financially as well. So thank you for joining us tonight. Doria, you want to tell us our next guest next week? Um, is you have Rosita, that? is her last name Rosita? Rosita Red. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. She'll be on next Tuesday night. So we will upload this to our YouTube channel. It's Redox Nurse Talk, and it will be up by in the morning. So you can always go back, search it there, and share it with people as well. And we want to thank you all for coming, and we appreciate the support that you always give us. I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording here. And if you want to um, say thank you to Ricardo.